Hi, I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Gordon Lawson, CEO at Conceal, provider of an intelligence-grade zero-trust technology that protects global companies of all sizes from malware and ransomware. To learn more about our sponsor, Conceal, visit conceal.io. Also joining us is Alyssa Valentina Knight, who is on the board of advisors for Conceal. Alyssa, Gordon, welcome. Great to have you both with us today. Hey, Steve. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Steve. So, Gordon, you get the award for having the best guests. You know, people ask me about your company, (laughs) and I tell them, you know, Conceal has great technology, but their CEO knows everybody. So I think the last three times we've had you on with us, it's, you know, Admiral Rogers. We had uh, former acting Secretary of State Miller. And now we have Alyssa Miller. We're big fans, so it's great to have you on with us, Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa Knight, actually. <laughs> the other Alyssa. Alyssa Knight. Yes. <laughs> to to, to be clear future, about future that. Secret- <laughs> future Secretary mm. of State, Alyssa Knight. Yeah, That's future really president. <laughs> So, Gordon, we're here to talk about a major concern that CISOs have, namely application security. Dynatrace recently surveyed 1,300 CISOs in large size organizations. So, we're talking about companies with 1,000 or more employees, and these companies are global. 75% of these CISOs say they're worried that too many application vulnerabilities leak into production. Uh, despite having a multi-layered security approach. So Gordon, does this reflect what you're seeing more broadly in the community of CISOs that Conceal works with? Yeah, absolutely, Steve. I, and I think that if this goes back to you, that the world is becoming more and more interconnected and that these applications perform so many functions, You know, whether that's a finance company, whether it's a critical infrastructure company and you have OT considerations as well, but Workers need access to these applications, and uh, you know, CISOs have a thankless job of trying to keep keep it secure. But you, at the end of the day, you have to find other ways. I think to uh, keep it under control because the the attack service just gets so much so much larger uh, with the amount of applications that are out there. So, Alyssa, the Dynatrace report concludes that observability and security must converge in order to manage vulnerabilities at runtime and the ability to detect and block attacks in real time. Is this where CISOs and their teams want to go? Sure, yeah. You know, I I don't talk much about this, Steve, but I am the CISO for a bank. I can tell you that I personally um, am a big believer in observability. You know, you can't protect what you don't know you have. Um, And I definitely think that security needs to shift left and then shield right. So if we can do vulnerability management, um, detection, uh, threat detection in, uh, you know, during runtime, uh, obviously that's, you know, preferred. Um, But uh, observability is a huge issue. And uh, especially as our attack surfaces are continuing to grow and expand into people's homes. So Gordon, Dynatrace did a great job on this report. We don't often reference uh, vendor reports, but in in this case, uh, the report was very well done. They're a publicly held company. Uh, Would would recommend uh, any CISO to take a look at this. One thing that jumped out at me uh, was this one statistic, uh, and and I read through it very thoroughly to see where they got the uh, supporting data from. And they claim that 28% uh, of the time that application security teams spend is wasted on vulnerability management tasks that could be automated. That's a really big number. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's there's a, a lot there. I think that one of the things that we're talking about pushing to zero trust architectures and pushing to the edge and being to, able to implement um, capabilities in the enterprise where you take away you know, some, some of that heavy lift is you have to have solutions where people can interact in the applications they need for their core business, but we have to have preventative technologies that don't allow ransomware or malware to infect either the machine or the endpoint, the machine, the, the endpoint or the network. And so we got to think differently about how do we, you know, release control and give people control to do what they need to do, but have some level of, I think, security around that so that the really bad stuff is not you know, making it through. And the challenge there is that you have to have technologies that understand what unknown looks like, right? Like we know known bad, we know known good, 
but the unknowns are where zero days and where I think the really catastrophic stuff can occur. And so being able to have the right machine learning, the right heuristics, the right threat intelligence to say, hey, this, th this, this particular application is doing something or, or, or something delivered via that application is doing something that's a real problem. And so we need to you know, isolate that somehow. And that's, you know, that's what we're really focused on at, Con on, uh, on at Conceal. But I think we got to kind of change some of our approach here because just, just, just locking down an entire network and not allowing people access to the, the items they need to, to have a very productive workday, just it's, it's impossible. So Alyssa, help us elevate here 30,000 foot view on, on this topic, and then we can drill back down. We've been following application security for a long time. So I remember like a decade ago when we first started talking about this, it was all about coding. You know, right. are, are, are programmers, you know, hip on security? Are they baking security into their applications? I think that was the narrative. Now we're in a place where, you know, you've got multiple platforms, everything's in the cloud. You know, in a lot of ways, it's more complicated for developers, even though it's a lot easier for CISOs and security teams. So I, I guess the question is, is application security a lot harder now that you have all of these different environments? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have different technologies uh, on uh, on different cloud platforms with Mac Microsoft Azure, AWS, depending on if you're talking about containers or, you know, different programming languages. You know, doing runtime application security is wholly dependent on the language that the application is written in. So, you know, it definitely complicates things. Having multi-stack environments, um, you know, building controls around them at the application layer is going to be wholly dependent on the language. So, you know, moving that security further out from the application that isn't that's more language agnostic. Uh, that doesn't require you to be using a specific language on the application order to use it uh, is obviously preferred when you're dealing with multiple languages and multi-cloud environments. Um, we were actually deploying a solution at the bank recently um, that actually shimmed into the application and it required the application to be using .NET, uh, which we weren't using. And we ended up having to go with a completely different solution that was further removed from the application um, so it definitely poses complications. So Gordon, we were talking to a CISO uh, at the RSA conference last week, and we were talking about, you know, cybersecurity jobs. You and I have touched on this before. We're dealing with, uh, you know, a big shortage in our industry. There's a lot of figures out there. We have our research that speaks to that. Uh, but interestingly, you know, he pointed to application security in specific and said that, you know, it's not just about cybersecurity, but it's specific disciplines where we're having a really hard time. And, you know, application security is hard because, of, of course, you have to understand development. You have to understand security. How, did, how does Conceal help organizations around their application security? And, and how does that relate to security teams that are stretched so thin today? Yeah, well, there's a, a couple pieces there. I mean, Alyssa talked about multi-cloud environments and I mean, any organization of any size or even smaller organizations, you know, we're, we're now seeing that the crown jewels usually aren't in, in one public cloud provider. They're usually spread out, right? And so being able to understand how those architectures are set up, I think also being able to communicate amongst different cloud instances and really um, secure your critical assets very effectively um, in, in those environments is key. So, you know, that's that's something that we we focus on, things like deterministic routing amongst geographies, um, really, really very clear cloud obfuscation uh, to make sure that a threat actor, you know, can't be performing C2 on your cloud infrastructure. Those are things that we've been we've been doing for years as a company at Conceal. And I think that we are able to give that trade craft to people, whether they're early in their cybersecurity career or a little bit later, that's an important, I think, piece of hygiene that that needs to be talked about more, um, and is an important piece of making sure that there's there's strong defense as as more data moves to the cloud. So that's, I think, that's one area where we we can really help kind of train people and give them some good assets to make sure that they're they're protecting that infrastructure. So, Alyssa, I have a dumb question for you. I know it, but I'm going to ask it anyway because I want to hear the answer. Um, and I know that, you know, you in particular can give us some good context on this. How important is application security? And the reason that I ask that is because I do know it's important, 
But CISOs and security teams are up against so many challenges right now. I mean, we could sit here, we could talk about ransomware, we could talk about crypto crime, you know, if we, we could spend a couple of hours talking about pressing challenges, but we can't take our eyes off our applications. And just how important is that? And, you know, to the point uh, Gordon and I spoke to, uh, talent specific to applications and security, are companies struggling with that? Yeah, so... Uh let's first talk about vulnerability management when it comes to applications identifying vulnerabilities so you can remediate them before they're exploited is huge obviously you want to make sure that you're continuously doing vulnerability identification and remediation as good cybersecurity hygiene continuously identifying the threats to your environment and your attack surface and then remediating them. Um, so on the vulnerability management side, that's incredibly important. Um, now that we're in an API first world, we've moved away from monolithic applications to microservices. You've got applications broken up, as Gordon mentioned, across multiple cloud environments, um, multiple locations. Um, th things aren't just running a single monolithic systems anymore. So, you know, understanding where those applications are, what they're vulnerable to, um, understanding what's out there. So observability is uh, absolutely huge. Um, so those are all things that we need to consider in application security. Application penetration testing, making sure that you're bringing in someone to routinely do uh, penetration testing against your applications is important as well. So identifying and mitigating those vulnerabilities in a continuous life cycle uh, is certainly important. Observability and visibility into what's actually going to your applications, um, you know, what those applications are doing, what traffic is going, is it synthetic traffic or, you know, generated by tools or is it the expected human traffic uh, that you'd expect to go to your applications and being able to determine good and bad uh, within those application uh, streams is super important as well. Um, talent, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot there as well. We talk about the talent gap, you know, in cybersecurity, and it's something that, um, a lot of organizations are working to try and get through. You know, you've got Night Dragons, um, Next Gen Cyber Talent Fund, uh, where they're trying to raise a million dollars to address that issue as well. A lot of people, um, are working to try and solve this problem. Uh, you know, I think, you know, we need definitely to send developers to secure code development training. That's super important. Making sure that the there's there's something uh, to sort of insert itself into the ID interface for developers as they're writing the code to yell at them when they're writing something they shouldn't be writing or writing vulnerable code. Um, all the way from development and shift left to shield right once it's deployed into production. So I know there's a lot there, but uh, you know, just looking at it holistically from that 10,000 foot view. I think those are all the things we need to consider in application security. So Melissa, I'm going to ask you to take your CISO hat off and put your producer <laughs> hat on. One of the reasons that we're uh, fans is because uh, I, I don't think I know anybody in the industry who is a CISO and an advisor has your type of uh, security experience. Uh, I know you're also an investor. You work with uh, Dave DeWalt's group. Uh, you know, the, <laughs> Night Dragon does some great work in the industry. Um, so talk to us a little bit about uh, this new five-part series, Ransom, that you're developing for Conceal. Yeah, we're super excited about this. Um, I'm working with uh, Gordon's crack marketing team, who are absolutely amazing, Kelly Michaud, um, just all of them, Scott. Uh, so what we're doing is we're just really transforming and disrupting cybersecurity marketing, where we're developing these story arcs and weaving the cybersecurity product into the story. So while you're sort of binge watching this new series, this new hit series, Ransom, you can actually go back to the office and buy the product. Um, so we're big believers in people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And so what we're doing is demonstrating why you need conceals product in this story arc uh, by showing both, you know, the protagonist view and the antagonist view in that story. So it's it's a multi-episodic series. Uh, I would say that it's Black Mirror meets Mr. Robot, um, <laughs> you know, so that <laughs> it's very technically accurate. You know, one of the, the reasons that Mr. Robot was such a big hit was its technical accuracy, right? So, you know, the fact that the series is being the screenplay and directed by a former hacker makes sure that we 
can maintain that technical accuracy in demonstrating sort of these attacks on these businesses uh, and what they're going through from a blue team perspective, while also what the antagonists are going through from the adversary's perspective. So we're super excited about this. Uh, we really believe it's transforming cybersecurity marketing. I feel like people don't really want to be advertised and marketed to anymore. You know, the oldest millennial just turned 40. We're doing with the dealing with a completely different generation of buyer uh, that wants video. You know, you if you read this recent Content Marketing Institute uh, report, um, and HubSpot report, it talked about the fact that more than 64% of buyers now make their purchase decisions off of video. So I think we're dealing with a completely different buyer now uh, that wants that that's very educated, right? Salespeople don't need to call around and educate you know, people anymore over cold calls. They already know what they need and know what they want. It's really just affecting that buyer at a visceral level and making Gordon's brand, making the concealed brand a part of their life um, through these series. So we're excited about it. So I'm not going to steal your thunder, but there was a, a little leak here, and we uh, we found out that the first episode is called Eyes Wide Open, and it's going to be premiered at Black Hat on August 8th at the AMC Theater Town Square in Las Vegas. So you got to just tell us a little bit about that first. Uh, yeah, we yeah we're super excited. So um, AMC, so we actually just got selected by uh, Con and uh, Independent Film Festival. Um, it's it's con or cans. I, I, I always thought it was cans. I think mm -hmm. it might be con, but um, so we're super excited about that. And also, yeah, AMC movie theaters um, is super excited about what we're doing uh, and they're premiering our films at their movie theaters in different cities. So um, we're super excited about that. Uh, so the uh, AMC town square in Las Vegas uh, is going to be premiering it at black hat briefing. So people will be able to get a ticket. Uh, we have, we haven't officially put the tickets up yet, um, but uh, you'll be able to come meet the actors. The actors will be here in Las Vegas. You'll be able to get your movie poster signed. Uh, myself and my production team will, 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 of course, be there as well. So, yeah, we're super excited about this relationship we've created with AMC, uh, and they're super excited about the Ransom uh, franchise. Uh, this is going to be a really cool series, and we're excited about bringing it to uh, everyone at Black Hat Briefings. So Gordon, I love what you're doing. Um, you know, we recently learned how much CISOs and security teams are into pop culture and, you know, they want to be entertained. They're people. Uh, we recently published a book, Hacker's Movie Guide. Uh, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, wrote a special long forward. Uh, we have a full page quote from you, Gordon. So talk to us a little bit about uh, Ransom and what you're doing and uh, why Conceal did it and what you're expecting. Well, yeah, no, thanks, Stephen. You know, first of all, we're super honored to have Alyssa as an advisor, <laughs> and but also to you know be the director and the creator of this series. And I, I and I think she hit the nail on the head. Is that our customer base and our potential client base? They 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 want to see, consume content in a different way. And these these productions that that we're doing together. Um, they're entertaining. They leave you wanting more. That's why we do a series of them. They're a little bit edgy, which is kind of cool too. You know, it's just it's just different than sort of the kind of traditional bland marketing that's that that you see out there. No one wants to watch a product video, but if you can weave um, a great product into a a really compelling story, I think that's a game changer. So this is going to be fun. We're going to have a. It's going to be like a Hollywood premiere at uh, at Black Hat. Uh, we'll have a uh, you know a lot of folks there. I think we'll have some cocktails involved as well. I'm, I'm not sure what time it's going to go, but I'm sure there'll be some cocktails since it's Vegas. And I think that um, we'd love to have uh, folks come out and, and check this out and 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 really follow it as part of the Conceal community as the uh, additional episodes launch. So we'll be at Black Hat, uh, Alyssa. Do we get a ticket? Uh, not to sure. not That'd to put you on the spot, it, but <laughs> it would be it'd be awesome. It'd be awesome to have you there and and actually meet in person finally. Yeah, and, and Steve, I think we're handing out some of your books too. A part yeah. of it, so yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. That, looking forward to it. So thank you both for coming on. I hope we could do this again, the three of us, uh, Gordon, Alyssa. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Gordon. Thank you, Steve. Uh, yeah, thanks all. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor in chief at Cybercrime Magazine. This interview is sponsored by Conceal, provider of an intelligence grade zero trust technology that protects global companies of all sizes from malware and ransomware. To learn more, visit conceal.io. You can keep up with all of our media at cybercrimemagazine.com. <laughs>